Hi, it's Alex from Tutoring Heroes. Need a little bit of help with your maths? Well, hopefully this video will make things a little bit clearer. Let's go and have a look and see. In today's video, we're going to be looking at equivalent fractions. Our checklist says that we're going to simplify each fraction. We're going to try to simplify using the highest common factor. And if you don't remember how to do this, you can look at my previous video about how to simplify fractions. We're then going to compare the simplified forms to see if they are equivalent. And equivalent just means are they the same? We're then going to look at missing values when it comes to equivalent fractions. And the checklist tool we'll need for that I will come to a little bit later. So I've got two fractions. I'd like to know are they the same? Are they equivalent? So it says I need to simplify each fraction and try to use the highest common factor. Now the highest common factor for 18 and 20 is 2. So I'm going to divide top and bottom, numerator and denominator by 2 so that I get 9 over 10. The highest common factor for 45 and 50 is 5. So I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator, top and bottom, by 5, which gives me the simplest form. And I compare 9 over 10, 9 over 10, 9 tenths, those are the same. So this is a pair of equivalent fractions. Now sometimes you're given a fraction and you are asked to find the missing value. So for example, 5 over 9 is the same as something over 45. So I know they're definitely going to be equivalent fractions. It says I need to multiply or divide a missing value, this here, by the same multiplier or divider, which would be used with the known number. So for example, let's see what this gap is here. What did I have to multiply nine by to get up to 45? So 45 divided by nine tells me that number that's in that gap there is five. And then the number is getting bigger, nine up to 45. So I had to multiply it, I didn't divide it, to get up to 45. So I now use that multiplier, used for that known number, for my missing value. 5 multiplied by 5 equals 25. And it would be the same if it was the other way around. So for example, if I had the known fraction of 5, sorry, 25 over 45, and all I had was the known number of 9, I would do the same thing again. I want to find out what is this missing number. So 45 divided by 9 equals 5. So it's going to be something either times or divide to get to 9. Now, obviously, this is getting smaller, so it's going to be divide to get smaller. So 45 divided by 5 gets to 9, and 25 divided by 5 gets us back to 5. So these are equivalent fractions, but I didn't know these values and I had to figure them out by working out what had the denominator be multiplied or times by. And it's the same if they give you the numerator as well. Good luck and I hope this video was helpful when figuring out equivalent fractions. Thanks for watching this video today, brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.